Rastafari International Ambassador Jabani, better known as the Badass, the man from Boswak, Bakawal. Today I'm going to be doing a special program in order to set Fira Ramesses, better known from now on, referred to as Dr. W. E. Du Bois Jr. So that's my new name for Pharaoh. Now, the topic that I'm going to address within the last 48 hours, Dr. W. E. Du Bois did three programs, and I list them serially. He did real Rasta history. Then he did a program called Without Any Apology. Then he did Changing the Concept of Rastafari I Will Not Advance Black People. Now, In all three program, he start off by referring to me as his good brother, and he start off by referring to me as his fellow vanguard, and he start off as refer to me as his peers, you know, and uh, I make one mention to him and that was I asked him not, was, not to mix up his musical career and musical history and present it as Rastafari history and Dr. Du Bois went on a tantrum since then. And he made my imprisonment to be a jingles. Yeah, Dr. Boris made my imprisonment, especially my nine year in solitary confinement to be his jingles. What Dr. Du Bois has done is 
expose himself. And as big up the traditional concept, the generational concept that was passed down to I and I as Rastafarian. And that is, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm keeping it real now. We were taught under no circumstances to ever trust black American. Yeah, that was the lesson that we were taught as a baby. Back a while, we were taught not to trust black American. The exception was your brother is your brother. So if a man, I'm going to really show you, say your animal one, then that's a difference. Hence, man like I, Jaboni, I'd give every man that benefit of the doubt to prove himself. Notice how many daily people. Me no cut off nobody. Me no black nobody. Simple. If me take a man from a virgin, I'm a virgin for life. Now, <sighs> Dr. Boris, go as far. First, Dr. Boris accused I, Jaboni, that as the ambassador, I should not have less my good brother, Marpenzi, to come on my platform and question His Majesty. So a lot of people is questioning what kind of Rasta ambassador it is when me allow people to say what they want to say. May I get to a point, you know? Dr. Du Bois try to son me. Because he might tell me what to do now. The doctor I tell the ambassador what I should I do and what I should know. So because he took the liberty to question what I did, I reply by telling him not to mix up his musical history with Rasta liberty. Now, as I said, he made a jingles. He went as far to say somewhere in the US, he and his friends change up Rastafari tradition. Listen to what the man say now. Him and him friend them change up Rastafari tradition. So Jayut is no longer Jayut. My classmate, my schoolmate, Jadine is no longer Jadine. Jare is no longer Jare. Jadi is no longer Jadi. Fira, Dr. Du Bois, now I'm going to tell you this now. It's good that you are where you are. And it's good that you don't put foot on the soil where Rastafari originate. Because, trust me, you keep a yap about the badness. But, 
Mwa yego abaka wa go tell a man say no name when me am. So I'm done with that. But let me tell you about real Rasta history now. It was my old man that allowed Sister Carol. You know she name? Sister Carol. Better known as Dr. Carol Yani. Who is the world leading authority on the subject of Rastafariism. Whether you don't like it or not. Dr. Karaliani is the world leading authority on the subject. For years, how did Dr. Yani become the world leading authority? Let me tell you why. How? It was my old man who allowed Dr. Yani. The first white person, the first white person to ever sit in a congregation of Rasta. So I not talk about tourists that come to Jamaica. I talk about Scala. And she's, her disguise was hippie. She come as a hippie. And she and the old man sit down and lick chalice. And she was able to convince the old man that Rasta need to organize themselves and function as such. She went away and she write her papers and got her doctorate to be the first anthropologist to study Rasta. Before that, we had an anthropologist by the name of, bear with me a minute. We had an anthropologist by the name of, um, I think his name was Simpson. But I just want to get it right this way. I'm not misquoting anyone. Yes. Before that, we had an anthropologist by the name of George Easton Simpson. He was the first anthropologist to study the subject of Rastafarianism. George Simpson studied study Rastafari in the dark days. And he put out that we were a cult and we were the black art man. That, the, the cult and black, black art man philosophy did a lot of damage to us. And Scarral came and she was the one that get Martimo Plana to go lean and, and open the door for woman right within the Rastafari Trading. 
Carol went on to get the University of the West Indies to lock down, to create a, a faculty at the university. And after convincing Barry Shevers and Professor Rex Nadaford to do that, then she convinced them to move Martin Moplana from Scotch Park and house him at the U University of the West Indies and uh, gave him a doctorate and put him in charge of the Folks Law Department. Carol went on to use her faculty at, I think it is Miguel University um, in Canada. I got it here somewhere in the record. But she went on to her university and get her university because she's the leading authority globally. She got her university to propose globally that all university would work through the faculty, the folks law department of the UWIA. Hence, gone are the days when university scholars would have take a plane and go to Jamaica and go to a Nyabingi center or a Nyabingi camp and do independent study. Those study is independent study, but it wouldn't carry much weight if it's not endorsed by the University of the West Indies, hence they the department up there functioning up until today. Now, I have told you all that out of my 15 years, I did nine consecutive years in solitary confinement. Now, people is using that to shear me and to make a jingles of it. Now, let me explain to you all now what was happening there. Now, anthropologists globally from different universities, you name it, Everybody have been to Jamaica to study the Rasta man. So anthropologists from Russia, from the US, Canada, England, you name it. They have been to Jamaica to study the Rasta man. I explained to you all that when I got captured, I declare <clears throat> instantly who I am. Yeah, I, I declare who I am. Not just that I was Jaboni, but I declare who my dad is and who I am and what my function was globally. I explained to you all that as a Rasta man, my 
activity was sanctioned by the Rastafari nation in order for me to work and cut and clear. Now, what did Jaboni did that he was held nine years in solitary? So let me tell you how that worked now. I fire bunny, free bean, is a lawbreaker. Yes, I am a lawbreaker. I follow no man made law wherever I go in the world. Yeah, as old as I am, still a lawbreaker. Yeah, I know that. So, no man can come shame me you now about informer business, talk too much and all these things. No, 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 no. Guy can come tell me. I know my rights. Yeah. I know what I can do and what I can do. Yeah. No man not buy me and no rule and regulation. No when to cooperate and when not to cooperate. So, in my confinement, I went through many phases. At one stage, I collaborate with Dr. Yanni under the instruction of my father. The collaboration entailed The professors and the doctors then had study Rasta on the street and the ill vegetarian ital eating meat. They, they have studied every aspect of Rasta. Today, Babylon have studied every aspect of Rasta. And what they did to I, they held I in solitary confinement for nine years as a case study. I was a case study. Yes. No one know what kind of works me, Marsh. Well, I was the Rasta capture key study. I was the one that they study for nine years straight. What would make a Rasta man break? Yeah. At one stage, they release me out of solitary and they put me in a honorable prison. Just to, to, to see if they can break me. And this is the Anna prison. And when I went to that Anna prison, the first thing I did was keep a big stage show, a big dance. And who did I keep that big dance with? Sabaya International. Yeah. I am Kodra Brown, Sister Desta. Sister Kofana, Dr. B, we all keep a big stage show at Greenhaven Correctional Facility. That was to show the authority that I have outside connection ready to facilitate the Rasta. So, I just want to know, to, to let 
WE the Boris know that we make changes wherever we go. Wherever we go. If you listen to Dr. D. D. Du Bois, he would think that because I was locked up, I was unfunctionable. That just goes to show how limited in scope he is. And I'm not going to come here now and tell you anything more what I was able to accomplish right from my solitary cell. Yeah. Because in my solitary cell, my dad was constantly in communication with me. Kodja Brown, Dr. B, Miguel Lawn, all these people throughout my 15 years were always in communication. So for you to come here and tell the world that you take after Jack, after my name. May God bless you. That's all I can say. May God bless you. Yeah, may God bless you. So hopefully, I want to understand now what Rastafarianism is. There's such a word. And if you want to know what Rastafarianism is, then you can go and consult your encyclopedia of African and African-American religion. And you will see what Rastafarianism is. So hopefully, um, This will clarify any misconception that you may have with Jaboni. So, respect to all my good brothers and sisters that were there for me and is still there today. And know what time it is. Always remember. The world is divided in two. Those that know. And those that don't know. Either you know. Or you don't know. Dr. W.E. Du Bois. You know nothing about I and I. You know nothing about Rasta. Go back and play your instrument. Go back and join your band. I mean, they might have some work for you to do. Or you can go back to the doing your craft work. Glory to word, glory to sound, glory to power, king of kings, speaking through the bloodline. Jedi Dada Dinaya Bingi speaking. We give thanks and I give rap to you. Give thanks to Bunny Ella. Respect, man. Yes. We are called for the overstanding this year, you know. Yeah. We yeah. are all of the reasons there. We are called for balance, maintain integrity, and overstanding. What would I say to the university and them? All of them teaching there, they did not get from the end of them. That is that gone. Right now, we develop on that and reach far. Uh, we are the third generation, you know. Uh, we, the Asian, then pass out the button to. Is we, the Asian, then tell the Ivy and from them. 
to make them see your hand. And you can overstand with that meal you overstand. Yeah. So all these new faculties that we didn't them eyes and this and that. We know what we're supposed to do. Uh, our works and our faith don't lie in the hands of no guy from university. Them will always want to learn more to be in our every dispensation. And we will always have things to teach them. For them always want to learn. Yeah. So this is the irony we depend right now. So I would them say uh, hidden from the wise and prudent, it revealed to the babe and subtle. So there is no secret, you know, that I and I don't know. But as Jonah said, we make them slide. We make them go on, because they're not going away, because negative. negativity can't go on a route. It must dissolve, you know. That's why we call for respect, because when we start dig up in a who did this and who did that, it aggravates and it brings grievous words. And it stir up anger. And we come here, we are here to build. We are in the context of teachers. And we must move with that professional character. You know? So this is the, the Irish, you know, car. I and I, it's from the bloodline. We not have, nobody not have to come from tell we nothing from the way. We, these things, we are not in what we're supposed to do and what we're supposed to say and how we're supposed to move and how we're supposed to dance and everything. No, nobody now has to tell me nothing. Nobody now has nothing to hide from where we want where we can do. You know, so people forget these things in their head clear. You know, so we are the chosen. We come to the bloodline. You know. We don't come to bow to Duke now, Baron. The road to Babylon must fall. It must fall, you know. You know. Now, feel how you look at it. Now, feel what kind of position they have here, you know. The work see if you get mightier. You know, because the heart of the battle are the sweet of the victory. So, if you know the heart of Babylon and you fight Babylon, you know, you know the heart of it. I remember when Rasta used to, I used to listen to Rasta reason. The Rasta way. I forgot to go to the town and get locked up and beaten from police and everything. He was the rasta where I have a night and story to tell. The rasta where they had the bush, they can tell us some story. They can tell us, yes, this bush good for your heart, this good for your liver, this good for your kidney. You know, and they can try to show you the spring. And we love that side of rasta there too. Yeah, that's that the idle part you now where it's when rasta have them look for freedom and I show where I go on. But the rasta where I forgot to go this thing here. We're in a Babylon now, and Babylon against we, and you have some Rasta man, you have some lax man now, we're against we too. So this, this is how it go. The dangerous thing I go on, you know, we, is the dreaded order, you know, a fight, you know, forces of darkness, then the forces of light, you know. Yeah. So that's going to come to trample and trample and paralyze. We have fear of the other things that we don't work. We just come to the middle of the world. I sensitize the youth to them about the danger. Yeah, sensitize the youth to the danger of the reality, coronavirus and the government and the lie with them, the conspiracy to kill black people. And them think they will want to target. Man has spent time on to target for own. You know, at time now we stop fighting against for own. We are not alone. We are not the one man against the world thing. We are with the ancestor, we ancestor with we. And we are working in team and spirit. So we flesh and blood is just merely a house, you know. But the spirit that we're there, we unite. We can't fight against unity in no capacity. You know? And love and, and harmon. For this is where these things create. We must and as a people maintain that as Rastafari of who we say we are because the one them can't say them they know Rasta liberty because they only they run the grass with a Rasta all the time and when they hear the principles of Rastafari you know our principles and as Van Bergen say 
Rasta come from far because in the, in the, in the 17th century you have lots of people in Jamaica where a, 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 a chop of white man and a kept a slave. And when people hear I and I talk these things, yeah, it's like a joke. We have a grandfather. And then they bring him that war. And they try to get him papers. And when he come back to Jamaica, he said, just catch white people and kill them. Enough why he never used to get charged for it. And then it was my grand granny father. Yeah, a man named Alberto Cornwall. Let me show you the type of uh, 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 bloodline we have. We 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 are from kind of easy people. Uh, we always been fighting for our land from the time the white man land. And our problem is with the white man. For him of our land, our land was taken by the British crown. And everybody uh, uh, helped tie up that and uh, push that under the carpet. And it's a problem to we and our children, children. For the dates and time where they give me wrong, and the political map where they have and give me wrong, and the fictitious birth certificates and identification wrong. And these are the things that we must keep focus on. Where the hell are they standing? That is, me, uh, we make Rasta these days. Yeah, the L and M, we call it Naya being the L. Them sit down and plan it and make it. Our we were children, was listening to them. Some youth never used to listen, but we used to listening to. And we used to know what they are doing, what they are say, and the purpose and meaning of it. So nobody can have nothing where hide where L and it say, where we never know. The L and M artistry, indoctrination, and Bible is personal. You know, if I if I have him views or him view Bible and God and doctrine, you know, this, this is not nothing for you. say you are you can't hide the power we're born within African children. The sixty year, you can't do that. Every day a child born with the gift through the bloodline. This is the greatest thing we could have ever achieved for our generation keep coming. And that is what I and I must focus on. You can't make people come come tell you about them have a big secret where we supposed to know and we don't know until they are 60 years and, and that is the secret is the ultimate destiny. No, this is another form of doctrine. You know? I and I have all we have within. We don't look outside for you know if you know if you know forces are you know. No inspiration, you get that from yourself and, and life and fall every day. Today is a new day. And you know, they are reasoning. You listen to the elders. The elders know things that the youth don't know. So all we need is to be informed properly. If we don't inform properly now and an elder will reason certain things and him shut down certain things and him attack certain things, then people go on piece piece of story and the thing when other people start relaying the information now, it does sound mixed up and it sounds like this thing is a far-fetched thing, this thing confusing and this thing conflicting. No, we are here as conflict to, resolu to find resolution for conflict. Yeah, we, we, this is why the Nairobi Nation Council seated for this council, seated from back a while till now. That I want to realize this now being the Asian Council seeking from before 1958 and many men drop along the way and, and fragmentality are here the same way and we are saying the same thing and we wanting the same thing, you know. So all we have to do, let's join hands and hands and work together. We know a, a, a lot of one may don't overstand, but we, we give thanks. Bless up. Keep the unity. That's what I say. Unity. You know, a man personally could behave in a way. That can affect me. You them are born with greatness every day. And that we have to look out for. You know, the youth them are born with great, a hundreds, a thousand, a million. A righteous youth man out there, youth daughters and youth man. 
want to know, love, want to support the, the, the black struggle movements, you know, to liberate Africa, that we don't have tired of people telling us what to live, how to live, how to eat, how to drink, because that is where Africa reached now. People from other places come and I tell you what type of medicine we're supposed to take. You know, what, when did we reach this stage and, 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 and these things, you know? You know, in the earlier days, before 2010, we have a campaign for the said HIV vaccine thing we have. Um, and the, the, the youth, I mean, the Caribbean and, uh, and Kenya and the places in Africa, then put out a video, um, say African is no guinea pig. That was three years before them put on the COVID-19. And when the COVID-19 went on Africa, the people they refused it. And the people in the Caribbean take it. Them start take it first, the Prime Minister, them and everybody start take it. And then now we start here say a poison and we hear say that will affect you. And we hear a lot of things about it. But we don't have anybody. We will say, yeah, this is from a, a, a black power point of view who certify and can test this thing and know if it can use for the people. And this, we've got to know this, we've got to have a vanguard. When you say we are vanguard, we are not only vanguard for Rasta people, business. We are vanguard of world affairs. Rasta affiliated with world affairs. Rasta deal with world affairs. And these are the trad where we see the ancient them that are trad with. It's world affairs make we involved and connect with Ethiopia to BBC and a lot of different news where happen. So what's where was secret a man of eye or who have eye? Is where happen now. And where happened then? Where 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 where, where I, the things that it happened then can be benefit to us now. We can work with it. But of the things that it happened then is not benefit to know because what it happened then was a foolish move and now we get wiser and we can be able to make wiser decisions. Now we can be we can make good informed decisions now because all the way we are said the people them wrong we did make this decision. We are here today. We are here today to come up with solution and decision that will make we move forward, you know, to the power of the king of things. So let us work on these decisions and these ideas, you know, for a man religion and in terms of religion. I mean, I want to share it here. It's personal. You can't tell a man what to think or what to eat or what to drink. You, you have the right and the freedom and the liberty to do as you, do as you please. According to your work, you will let your fear. But when you come on to the family, you must always show that love and respect. Yeah. That we are promote uh, as the, 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 the children of the Nayabin the ancient order. And we say we you know, give up. You know, we know repatriation is a must. We foster in discipline, self worth, morality. And, you know, we have the ability and the determination to achieve repatriation if we follow instruction and unite and trust and obey one perfect love. Yes, this is part two. As I said, after getting captured, first time Babylon really captured capturing a real Rasta man because they know who I was. So what they did, they run an experiment and held me approximately over nine years in solitary confinement. The reason being, as an original roots Rasta man, Babylon know that whenever a social movement 
come into being. It needs to be studied. So this is where they start their run, run their study. That is what happened with Rastafari. They identify that a new way of perceiving God had emerged in Jamaica in the early 1930. Following the crowning of His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, they knew nothing about this mystic revelation. They had to study it. This is the classic colonization process. Study the people, their custom, their religion, and their liberty. Access so much of a threat is this movement to their system. Is it a potential threat? If so, neutralize it. And if possible, corpse it and render it safe. This is what happened to the Rastafari movement globally. Anyway, to stick to the point, it was a American academic by the name of George Ethan Simpson, who while researching Pocomina, came across the Rastafari. His research was published in 1955. This initial foray into researching Rastafari lead to a stampede of researchers such as you know, Fira, rushing to research Rastafari to get their PhD and informing the so-called authorities and everyone else what Rastafari is about. According to the narrative, the 1960 report on Rastafari came about at the request of Rastafari whom after the Claudius Henry incident went to the then University College at Mona requesting them to do a study to show that Rastafari are peaceful and have no intention of overthrowing the Cornwallian government. This report was completed in record time and lead. So it is claimed to the mission to Africa in 1961. One of the first of the new wave of academics to come to study Rastafari in the 70s was a one called Carol D. Yani under the guise of a being a hippie who came from York University, Canada. She linked up with Martin Plana, who escorted her to an, her, an, her social anthropological safaris throughout Kingston, Jamaica, and beyond. Ada came in the name of study in order to get to know about Rastafari. Yani researches under lock and key at York University. To see it, money have to pay. In other words, what I and I Asian state, their intellectual property is not accessible to Rastafari. After Yani came others, namely the Simisonan Institute and one GX Omic. A point is if Rastafari never allow ones in and never escort them around and let them know everything there is to know about Rastafari and give them process Rastafari artifact to store in their museum when Babylon would not have been able to corpse the movement. In other words, Rastafari has given away I and I 
gold mine to Babylon and now want it. And now when it is too late, want a ball. The issue is Rastafari must have I and I own expert and Rastafari that are working for the benefit of Rastafari and a whole and not just as a job in Babylon. So this is why we must be very careful who we let in and who we, we collaborate with. Because here it is, you only want to say the wrong word to certain people, such as the Boris and Aya Congo. And they're gone off the rail. And then you have to be careful also because these people that corpse us is the first to start name, name shame way and call us different, all kind of name. Here it is. This man never been to Jamaica yet. Freed for God, Jamaica. And I got to tell you now, say, the old Rastafari liberty was rearranged while I was away for 15 years. So now, American is who set the level upon I and I. You call it preposterous. And this nigga now won't leave my name alone. Every broadcasting make now on the subject of his broadcast. So, obviously, I'm his daddy. Yeah, come home to your daddy. <laughs>